Okay, hi everyone. Here's a new photo critique. This is for a Shane er Ernest. Um, it says, Howdy, attached are the photos given below with the limited copyrights. I gave Dom, blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's get the guy's background. Uh, I'm a media and communication student in uh, Maraishi University of Management in the sunny GM Cornfields of Iowa. Uh, oh, and you're obviously a bit of a, a, a writer as well. Uh, I'm graduating in a few months and hope to continue doing freelance de uh, design, uh, freelance design work, which has helped support me since dropping out of high school at 16. Um, I'm attending a satellite university for graphic design communications and third and 3D design and video productions. Whew, this is pretty intense stuff here. Uh, my desire for critique stems from my enjoyment in observing individual reaction to what is presented. The unseen alchemy that occurs in one's mind as they observe the moment around them is... I also find it hard to get solid critique of these parts. Uh, okay, cool. Um, okay, and he's given me uh, details. Temple, ISO 500, 1350. Don't ask, it was a difficult shot. Wedding couple, photographer. Cool, okay, I shall empty hall. Uh, right, cool, he's given me all these details. What I'll do is I'll put these details on the blog so you can have a little read of it exactly what he's used here. Um, uh, there's also two exposures that I hand stitched in Photoshop. Cheating, I know, but I swear I would have done it on film in the dark room. Cool, okay, so, right, okay, let's have a look at these photos which uh, Sean has sent us. Okay, so, how have I got a couple there? First one, Ellie. Uh, is a uh, cool okay it's a giant elephant uh, this looks like a film image because it looks like it's got loads of grain in there obviously you wouldn't really consider it a high ISO but it might be done with a camera that's got low ISO that's got really pump ISO but it really looks more like film maybe even like a Lomo camera uh, elephant is very nice and sharp and it's kind of cool how it's kind of out of focus down here and all around and the vignette. It looks like a Lomo. It looks like uh, one of those cameras where it's like really funny film uh, that they use, that are really, really cheap and plastic uh, stuff. But I like that. It looks cool. Um, yeah, that is cool just how, how sharp he is right in the, the centre there and the strong vignette. And uh, the... The image itself, you've got kind of two people in the background there, so I'm guessing it's somewhere in like Indonesia uh, where these people are maybe like training these elephants to either push stuff or something. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's kind of cool. I like the, the textured effect that's on it as well. Uh, but what was it telling me? What was it showing me? Nothing. This, especially with the name Ely. Is that the elephant's name? Um, Oh wait, okay, okay, we'll have to look at what you've actually written here. Uh, Northern Thailand, this time the Elephant Nature Park Sanctuary. Here the elephants are cared for and allowed to roam the ground, supervised of course. During the day uh, they are sadly abused in Thailand um, and anywhere in captivity. So the EPN strives to save the elephants. Uh, Holga, Holga, that's what you're using, yeah, uh, Lomo, Holga, cool, yeah, so I was right. Holga, daylight setting, expired Fuji Pro 400H, maybe 160 or real, not sure, I bought a ton of ex that expired at school, cheers, cleaned out the fridge. Okay, cool, cool, yeah, so uh, I was right, it is film and it's by a Holga camera, which is these kind of funny little plastic cameras that you get, um, which are coming really into fashion just now, so yeah, like that one, cool. Okay, let's see the next one. Empty Mall. Okay, I'll have a little quick read of this one. Okay, Empty Mall, Shutter, uh, Empty Mall, ISO 3, 000, uh, 320. Uh, okay, uh, 1, 250 of shutter, f4.5. Blurred edge at bottom is the table I put the camera on, not enough time uh, for a heavy video tripod. Okay, so yeah, you can see uh, a little bit of kind of blurriness there. Uh, there seems to be kind of a bit of um, photoshopping done to it just in the colours that's going on there. Uh, and it is. It's a totally empty mall. Uh, it's kind of cool, actually. 
I like it. I would take away this bit at the side here um, because you've got a bit of a door or something or a bit of a stand there the, another kind of strange bit coming out there and a bit of plasticky bits there but this could be like if you worked on this image you could make it like it's totally like a zombie film kind of like if you've got the models kind of like uh, crawling around uh, that could be like a cool zombie-esque uh, shot um, Two people standing there looking a bit lost. Oh, they're holding hands as well, so that's kind of cute. Don't know what that's representing. Uh, they are also just off centre over to the. So, yeah, for this one, I just see a little bit of cropping. Um, and uh, the, only, the only problem with the photos like these is that you've got all the kind of advertising in the background for things. Uh, but you've obviously found the kind of the best location with the least amount of advertising stuff. Um, but yeah, okay, it's an interesting one. Yeah, kind of. RT, I would say. Uh, let's see, next one. Okay, this one's called uh, Girls. Okay, so again, this looks like a double exposure photo with the Holga, I'm guessing as well. This girl's face has just completely disappeared in the sky of that one. Meanwhile, this one here is, you can see it because it's in the green of the trees. They're in some possibly traditional outfits, and you can see the things in the background and a person with something on their head over there. Uh, so yeah, th this is this is a very good example of uh, double exposures where you take a photo with film and then maybe you take a photo again with the same film um, and it just kind of layers them on top of each other without having to use any Photoshop at all. Uh, so here again, the idea of the dresses that people wear but also the location that they're at as well. So that's, that's all quite interesting. Uh, let's have a little read of what you've said here. Girls. Visiting uh, Northern Thailand with a friend looking for some special white tea. Okay, yeah, cool. I love white tea. It's very nice. It's very good for you. Very healthy. Loads of caffeine. Same as normal tea, but very good for you. Uh, I didn't know the name of... Uh, so he's looking for white tea that he didn't know the name of. So she couldn't translate it. Uh, we, so she, spoke with the girls. We were part of this small town uh, for a while. Sadly, the area is incredibly impoverished and hinder hindered by opium and meth. Really? Meth? Uh, so jobs are scarce. Double exposure on Fuji Pro 400H. Uh, first shot with the girls approaching in daylight setting. Shot secondly, sh second shot with cloudy setting, modified uh, to adjust aperture. Both shot with normal 125th ish shutter. Okay, yeah, cool. Uh, okay, good. I oh, I still don't have the balls to go for a Holga or a Lomo yet. I just. I'm just scared of it, but I think if I got it, it's just really expensive having to get it all printed and all that. I just how you can't look at the photo straight away, you've got to wait until you get home. So bravo for having the balls to actually using uh, the this stuff, because uh, it looks cool. I, I think these are cool. I really like people that have gone with Holga and Lomo photos, I think they look smart. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's another interesting one there. This is Monks, okay, so whoa. Bad noise, bad noise. Oh, you can barely make anything out of this. Uh, again, I'm guessing you're really pushing the film here. Uh, this guy's face is. But whenever you really push film, uh, the contrast or the dynamic range of film just becomes pump. So here he's just totally blown out and then totally black. Um, I can't really tell what angle it's from or where you are or what they're looking at because they're all looking away. Again, as an arty thing, it works pretty well, it's pretty good, but it kind of is distracted by the amount of noise, all these red and blue dots here. Uh, that's where having some form of noise reduction would really help, and if you could just make it so it's just almost like, like the colours here are beautiful, like something like that is a, oops, something like that is just a beautiful coloured image, it's almost like a painting or a, cart or, or a drawing rather than a photo. Um, so that would be a cool, I, like, I would like that. Um, that guy's nose looks really weird and messed up, so does his lips. Um, but yeah, in total, like, the whole image is a bit too much, too much black, there are too much bits there. Uh, let's see what you say about the monks. Uh, day before, uh, a day before Buddhist Lent, the monks travel a few, uh, to a few other monasteries and a few residences where they perform various rites, then back to the monastery for three months of Mon... monastic focus. Ooh, monastic. That's a new word for me. Um, <laughs> you're just having to guess your, your um, 
your camera settings, 20 millimeters, maybe 1600 ISO, um, maybe HE2, quarter of a second shutter speed, um, and on a bumpy road in the back of a pickup truck taken with the D200. Ah, okay, so, so it's on the back of a pickup truck. Interesting. It's cool, it's cool. But yeah, I, I do think, like, it is a bit, like, the colours here are beautiful. If you took the noise out, the blue and the pink, obvious speckles, and you just went close in, something like a real crop like that, I think that's just, that's cool. That's cool, that, that's painting there. Okay, like that one. Okay, let's go next one. Okay, I'm guessing this is the sister. I uh, can't quite tell. Um, here if it is my sister and I like to take photos together and so I wanted to include her in this shit set. Um, this was on the uh, film HP 5 Plus Nikon N80, uh, most likely with a 20-200 f 3.5 Sigma Beast. Uh, probably a reflector or bounce card uh, was used. Are these like really old photos that you just like I've totally forgotten all your details with. Uh, oh, well, obviously you're doing it with film, so it doesn't keep all the details in it. Um, this is a scan of the original print. Okay, I I kind of like how it's a a scan of the print. That's quite cool. Um, again, th these are real, really arty stuff you're getting in here. Um, and uh, yeah, no, that, look, that looks cool. So it's kind of taken from a, a lower angle looking up towards her sister. We've got obviously like beautiful blonde hair, but then this kind of thing around her, which kind of gives her this kind of innocent look to it. But then when you look closely, what is it that she's got wrapped around her? It doesn't look like a hoodie or clothing. It looks like a bit of a kind of a sack or something. Uh, but yeah, your sister's hot. Anyway. Uh, yeah, that's cool. I like that. Uh, I like her look as well, like just the way she's looking off. Mind you, if I look too carefully, that eyeball looks like psycho eye, like crazy eye there, and then okay eye there. So maybe that's where in Photoshop, maybe just a little bit of lowering the contrast of this one psycho eyeball. Do, 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 do. Um, but looking at the photos in its Entirety looks quite cool. Oh yeah, I like that one. I like the black and white or the kind of grey and white that you've gone for there. That's cool. Okay, uh, next one. Temple. Uh, loving the colours. Uh, I'm guessing this is, you've possibly gone with the Holga. Uh, let's see this one. Temple ISO 500. Uh, one three thousand two hundredth of a second. Don't ask, it was a difficult shot as these were a wedding couple with photographer trying to take photos in front of the church at the same time. Okay, um, f4.5 wanted the background to, uh, in the entire series of images, to have a creamy smooth texture. Mm. Uh, 50mm El Cheapo, <laughs> 50mm El Cheapo f1.8 Nikkor, love lens but it cropped hard on the DX sensor, true it does. Uh, and what's the last bit, uh, this was also two exposures that I hand stitched in Photoshop, okay cool. Um, okay, so I'm guessing maybe the stitching is kind of roughly around about here for the for the lights. Uh, so first one is for above the heads and then below the heads. Uh, so yeah, now that looks cool. Um, again, just on the side, I like how the person is perfectly in the middle. Another person is over to the side there. Uh, you can't really see anyone apart from this person here. That's where just a quick little like. Photoshop taking them out would be quite good. I also like how you've totally messed around with the uh, white balance because that's kind of like a you've you've gone for a cooler temperature, um, maybe well a, a cooler look to it than the what was probably a sunny day. And as you can see, your shadow is over to the side there, so it's, I'm guessing the sun's more with a little bit of an angle, which means it's usually a warmer temperature. Uh, but there you've given it a real kind of bluey look to it. So that's that's an interesting addition that you've done there. Uh, again, so this person here cropped that person out, but also maybe this bit at the side here, taking that out, so it is more just a shot that looks kind of like that. Uh, but yeah, okay cool, last one, and then the very last one is called Wrong Way, and then it's, uh, I'm guessing the two of you, again, facing away. Okay, okay, I'm seeing the set now. Uh, like with couples facing away 
uh, holding hands, very cute. That looks like you're in the pouring rain. Uh, weather looks duff there outside, pointing wrong way. That's, hmm, that's, that's symbolic. Uh, symbolic in a bad way, kind of, maybe. Um, on a totally desolate road uh, and everything. Yeah, okay, okay, let's see what you've written here. This is very interesting. Um, where is it? Wrong way, uh, so 100, 1 800th of a second, f4.5. Cold coming from California and heading uh, heading to Iowa. Okay, yeah, no, I like that. Cool, okay, well, what, I've, what I can definitely say about these shots is that Shane, Sean, Shane, Ernest, that you've got a style. And that is a really good thing to have. Like, I can look at these photos and possibly if I saw uh, a couple more, or if I were to do on your Flickr page, I'd go, that looks like a Shane, Shane Ernest kind of photo. Uh, the fact that you've got this kind of thing going on here, that's quite cool. And then with your Holgas as well, uh, or your uh, Lomos, or whichever it was, um, you've got this kind of second style going on as well. So that, that's awesome that almost straight away, within just seeing six of your images, I can see that you've got a bit of a style and a bit of a look to your images. And I like that a lot. So that, that's a good effort that you've done there. Um yeah, so I like that one. Okay, good good work. I'm I, I like these and I'd like to see you do more of these. So definitely keep the Holga or the Lomo uh and uh and keep working at these. Get get some more, really build a whole set, uh or more and more of a set. Uh, especially these kind of people holding hands facing away. Do it with lots of other people. Do it like where the I like that. Good idea. That's a project. Work on that, and having a project in your photography is always a good thing to have. Okay, good work. Okay, that's that was uh, Shane Ernest um, from America, I'm guessing, uh, and that's his shots there. So hope you enjoyed that, and uh, and I'll put my boutique on the blog. Okay, see you later. Bye. -bye.